be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to use the Drum Machine Designer in Logic Pro 10. Um, usually, I use the Quick Sampler to load you know, drum sounds and different things like that or the Multi Sampler. But I'm going to be showing you how you use the drum machine designer to load in samples and use that to make some hard drum sound beats and stuff like that too. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, first thing, the first thing we're going to do is to start with a software instrument track, and then under instrument, actually you want to go with a uh, empty channel strip. Push create. And then what you're gonna see is this. Now, if you don't already have the inspector window open, all you have to do is go to the top left of the screen and push that I that's next to these boxes right here. So that's the inspector window. So from there, you're gonna scroll down to you see instrument. And then from there, if you go almost all the way down, you'll see drum machine designer. All right, so this is what the drum machine designer is. Now, the cool thing is, as soon as you open it up, they have a lot of different options that you could choose from. So they have like every kick that's pretty much in here, every snare, every hi-hat, every cymbal, tom, clap, shakers, percussions, effects, acoustic percussions pitch samples templates all types of cool stuff so say if i just want to go through whole, a whole lot of kicks let's just pick one of these we'll go with this analog i can come over here and i have lots of kicks i can load in here so i literally can build my own stuff so all you have to do is like literally click on it and then you can start adding different sounds so um, so I have this kick. If I want to come over here and add like another kick, I can do that. So now I have these two kicks. Now, let me just pull this up. This is musical typing. I think this one, let me see here. But you kind of get the idea here. I can make a hi hat in here. The only thing about this is it's kind of more so designed like if you're using like an NPC. So when it comes to figuring out kind of where the notes are. It can be difficult. Now it is going to show you though, if you look right next to the note here, it says like what G sharp one E one. So that can help you a lot. So if you're looking at this and you're like, man, where do I play this? So like for instance, this hi hat is on G sharp. All right. So that's how you're going to be able to figure out where everything's at. Um, see, so this is C two. So, and you kind of get the point here. You can pretty much load sounds straight in from Logic. Like I said, they have a lot of still like sounds here. But you can pretty much load these sounds. Now the cool thing too is you can come down here. You can also load other things like uh, you know loops um, and chop those up and things like this. So you can come over here, put fades on things. Um, you can come over here. You can reverse sounds too. So I could take this like this and I can reverse this. What's that C two? So. Um, gives you a lot of options here. 
Um, like I said, you can also put like samples or loops in here as well, which is pretty dope. You can come over here. Um, let me move this out the way. So, so let's say we wanted to put that in here. We want some chords. So what I could do is I could take this and just drag it to wherever I want. Put that in there. And now literally this drum designer, this, this drum kit designer turns into also a sampler. I can come over here and I can chop this up. So um, let's take this. So we grab just that part. I'll follow the tempo and then let's say we want to uh we could turn the playback off so it won't loop and then i can reverse this sample so now let me just see what where it's at on the actual keyboard or this is c2 sharp so it'll be this And so this kind of makes it easy to, especially like I said, if you're using some type of external MIDI uh, drum pad, this is gonna be awesome for that. You just load in your samples exactly where you want them and you can you know, cook up that way. Now, obviously you can do that with, you know, your regular keyboard and stuff too, but I think like for, you know, if you have an MPC or um, some type of machine uh, or some type of like MIDI, uh, drum pad controller this is gonna be super lit for that now um, let me just go ahead and delete this again like I said you can put whatever song sounds you want in it um, so like if I wanted to all right I could come over here and I have this Rap Lords drum kit, okay, that we came out with on BeatMakingBasis.com. I could come over here and literally uh, add and drop these sounds in as well. So, um, let's say, all right, just kick. Put that bad boy right there. All right. Um, and you can follow these, what they suggest here too. So like this is kick, this is snare. I could I could kind of follow their um, their lead on this, or I can just do my own thing. So it's up to you. So we can put that snare like right here. Pedal hi hat. So like we can do a hi hat sound right there. And again, you don't have to follow their template of what you need to do but you can do it you can kind of see these like crashes okay we'll put a crash right here maybe some type of perk or whatever i'll put some hit some hi-hat rolls in there instead um put this one right there i'm pretty sure i have a rim shot in here somewhere there we go yeah we got some rim shots <laughs> Um, shaker. I don't know if I even have a shaker in this kit. Doesn't matter though. We'll go ahead and go with um, another hat roll or something. Open hi hats. Let's check that out. But what I'm showing you here, pretty much, you could literally um, build your own kit based on your liking and if you have like a um, drum pad, MIDI controller, MPC, whatever, you can easily like incorporate that into the situation, man. Um, let me throw a couple of 808s in here. Let's kind of finish this on out. Throw this bell right here. Throw this core eye right here. Um, Throw this piano right here. I'm gonna do a snare row right here. All right. Excuse me. So now I have the uh, 
Rap Lord's drum kit laid out in here. And again, if you're using just like a piano, all of the notes are all like right here. So I can come over here, C1, let me just go ahead and go down like that. So you get the point here, you can do a lot of cool things here. This is a great way to add a bunch of sounds and then have them, you know, at your disposal. Again, like I said, this would be great if you had like one of those pads, one of the drum pads, a MIDI controller drum pad thing. Oh, this was gonna work out perfect for you if you do that. Um, let's, let's go ahead and do one more thing here. I'm gonna show you. Um, you can actually too save this. Let me just double check. I think you save it right there. My bad. Yeah. You can clear the pads like that. So if you ever want to start over, you can clear the pads that way. Another cool thing too is they already have a bunch of um preset like you know what I'm saying um drum kits for you so like you could just open up as soon as you open this up I'll just do it over again one more time as soon as you open this bad boy up if you look over to your to the uh left there's all these different kits that you could use okay that already have stuff mapped out for you 808 flex joint. Let's see here. Got all this stuff here. So this is going to be definitely dope for people who like to do finger drumming. Cool thing too, you can also come down here and adjust any of these sounds. So just hit, like say that kick, I can come over here. And that's the cool thing about that too, is you can Now that kick sounds completely different. You get the point, y'all. You just go ahead and go through all of these. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna go ahead and take back what I said about Logic. I mean, they have done a lot to improve their drum sounds, bro. Like, when you when it comes to jumping into some of these sounds, like that was actually a, a pretty solid 808. So yeah, I mean, with the latest version of Logic, bro, as long as you get the latest version, that's gonna be really probably the one software program that you can get that you're not going to 
be forced to get other sounds and other stuff you it will help to but you don't have to because like you know you can make some hard tracks with the You can go in between these right here and say like if you wanted to continue to add some more sounds, you can go between three different banks. So a lot of cool stuff here. And this is an empty kit. Um, this is going to be one other thing I'm going to show you here about this is that you can actually come in here and chop up like loops and stuff like that, So, which is pretty dope. Um, let's just demonstrate it with just the drums. If I come over here, do all drums, um, do genre, let's do hip hop. All right, let's just grab that and drag that up in here. And if you look over here, it's kind of just like the quick sampler. So what I could do, I could do this slice option. I could do this classic option. I could do a one shot option. And I could just literally come over here and grab certain parts from this. So let me just do this. We can zoom in, go down options, zoom in type stuff. I can grab this other one. And so you can actually kind of create your own drum kits based on finding loops and stuff like that too. Okay. It's a lot of stuff you could do with this, man. Um, I did want to just kind of break that down for you. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up on the, uh, on the video. Also, it helps out if you can share the video, share it with some of your friends that might see this as a, a beneficial video. I know a lot of times with us as producers, like drums, that's that main thing that we need. So that that drum uh, designer, man, is, is pretty thorough, pretty dope. Especially if you're into like finger drumming and stuff like that, this is gonna be like the main thing that I would actually recommend that you use as far as like a VST um, in uh, Logic Pro 10. Also, y'all make sure that you go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com, okay? BeatMakingBasics.com, one-stop shop, man, for anything when it comes to music production. Um, we have full premium video courses on there. It has a whole curriculum that you can follow and everything on each course. Um, we have premium um, loop packs and, and drum kits. These are kits and loops that you're not going to find anywhere else, and they're royalty-free. And then we also have like mixing templates that you can get. Um, if you don't want to learn how to mix your beats on your own or you really struggle with it to that point, you can actually just go ahead and do some beat mix orders with me. Um, and then I also have one one service, Zoom call, ask me anything, you'll get a copy of the Zoom call. And I have a collab service. So um, just check all that stuff out at beatmakingbasis.com. If you have any questions, let me know. And I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.